Hi again! So, we didn't have the inspection for the empanage kit by now, but I have a lot of time right now. Um, I'm a teacher and my vacation started, so I'm a full-time builder for the next three weeks. And so we decided to start with the wing kits. First of all, we divided all the parts in the left and the right wing. Uh, you can see um, I have not a really big build job, so I cannot uh, build the uh, two wings together. So I have to make one wing after the other. And so we divided uh, the wings in the right and the left wing. So we start with the right wing. So first of all, we figured out a system of organization for the parts. Um, first we wanted to make labels uh, for the parts with the part number but these labels will disturb uh, or interfere with the priming process. So we decided to make these boards um, and we, this board is the way we organize the, the parts. As you can see we have labeled the ribs of the wing and over there is the, the second board. So on one rib, like here, are all the parts which belong to this rib and we will make one rib after the other. So all the parts for one rib stay together all the time through all the, the, the processes. So first, as you can see, we have already primed uh, and deburred and dimpled the first rib and the rear spar. And these are the other ribs for, for the right wing. Yeah, we got a really good job done this week. We have prepared all the parts for the wings, for the left wing and the right wing. And we will start today building, building up and riveting the wing together. But before that we have to countersink the main spar. Uh, the main spar is too thick. It cannot be dimpled but there are countersink rivets on it and so you have to, to drill the countersink. For that you have such uh, countersink drill bits and this is a countersink stop. So as you can see the drill bit can move inside and uh, if you press on that part uh, it will stop at a certain depth. So it will not happen that you go too deep. Uh, it is very important to get the, the right step on, on this part. If it's too deep, you will uh, pull your skin into the, the main spar and you will get bubble on the, on the surface. And you really have to avoid this. And so we were able to start with building the wing. Uh, everybody wanted to be there for this big moment and so my partner Anita, my son Maxi and my father came over and together it was quite an easy job to build the ribs on the, on the wing. We followed Evan's uh, instruction attaching the rib number six first uh, and then going on with rib number five to one. Uh, if you start with the first rib uh, there wouldn't be enough space for pulling the rivets of the rest of the ribs. Uh, the rest was straightforward. Uh, as you can see, it is quite easy, just, just a few rivets to pull. Uh, but it's uh, an amazing, satisfying work and it's uh, made us amazing, amazingly proud. Uh, and it's nice to see what you can achieve uh, within a few days and you can build your own wing of your own airplane. So next we installed the bottom skin. Uh, first you have to align all the holes of the skin. This is not an easy task. Uh, you have to take your time. It took us more than three hours I think to lay the, the skin to the right position. You have a lot of clickers to put in uh, and then you have to pull a lot of rivets, but it's also very satisfying work and it's really uh, 
it makes you really proud of how everything comes together and, and works out. It's, it's really, really great fun. So after these two weeks, I think uh, I can make some comments on my experience we have made so far. So the first I want to mention is the countersink uh, rivets. As you can see, this came out really, really nice. Um, I'm re really impressed how, how good they, they are. They are all the same depth and also the countersink uh, rivets on the main spar uh, where you have to drill all these holes, they came out really, really, really nice. So for the building some hints, the manual say you have to uh, install this uh, channel uh, when you're building the rear spar, but this is not correct. Uh, do not install this, this channel uh, too early. You have to rivet those holes for the spars. All the spars are coming over here. And as you can see, there are some uh, rivets you will not reach if you have installed this, this channel. Uh, also, I have to mention uh, here, it is, it is very important. Uh, Evan in his video says you have to, to shorten this rivet, but this is not correct. This rivet will not interfere uh, here, but uh, here is a special rib, the rib 11. I have the rib here for the for the left wing, uh, and as you can see, here is the the bracket for the for the aileron, uh, and this aileron has bracket rib. This aileron rib has these two channels uh, here underneath, and as you can see, this rivet uh, will interfere. With this, with this channel. So this is this rivet here. So you will have to shorten this rivet uh, to install this one. Uh, every, everything else is uh, quite easy going and uh, easy forwarding. Uh, you do not have to install these rivets uh, because of the, the tank and the front skin will come over here. So another big discussion on our building process was uh, the root skin uh, of the of the wing. Um, the manual say you first have to install the outer skin and then you have to uh, install the root skin. But this leads to a problem where the skin will overlap overlap here. So the discussion was is if the, the outer skin is above the root skin or the root skin is above the outer skin. Uh, normally it's like this, you have to uh, take uh, care of, of the steps. There should, no, there should not be a step from the front to the back so that the air will go underneath here. And there should not be a step from the root to the, to the outer side of, this, of the wing because air will flow uh, this way, but um, here, as you can see, there is a, a little notch. Uh, this this rib is have, has this circle here, so this rib will be placed like this, and this doesn't make sense any anything other th other way around. So if this skin is up there, there would be a, a hole underneath uh, this rib. And I don't want to to have this. So, if you and also if you look carefully in the manual, uh, this should this uh, skin should be underneath this one. So uh, we have to install it like this. And also this hole here. This is the the first hole in the uh, outer skin. Uh, this hole is way too small, so you have to enlarge this hole to 4.8 millimeters. So these holes here are countersunk holes. So you have to dimple these holes, but do not dimple this one. Uh, this will be a, a bigger one. So like like all those those holes here. So for aligning the the skins, this is the the very important part 
uh, of, of building the skins. Alignment only with the glycos uh, is not, not really good enough. So if you just uh, take care and align all the skins like this and you put glycos in, into the skins, uh, this is not, not precise enough. So you will end up uh, with some, like this one, already happened. So, like, like some uh, rivets will not fit into the holes, some will. And what also happens if you try to put this, this in, uh, this, this rivet will be uh, not straight up. And if you pull it, you will, uh, while pulling the, the rivets, you will bend your skin in some directions. Uh, so to, to fix it with the glycos, we first always get in some, some rivets. Uh, and you look that the, the rivets are straight up and you put in the next one. So over, all over the, the skin and all over the part. And you can align the, the skin with the, with the rivets. So and if all the rivets you have put in, like this, are straight up, so this will align your skin. So this is not fixed now. So everything can move just a little bit. You see, these rivets are not, not okay. So you have to move a little bit the skin. If you're pulling the rivets to the straight, your skin will move just a little bit. Uh, and these little movements cannot be done if you have the, the glycos in. So if you, everything is okay and everything looks right, I will put in some glycos right next to the rivets, uh, which are already aligned correctly. And if you put in these glycos right next to the rivets, you will fix your skin to the right position. And this is way, the easiest way to, to align all the skins. We have also done this, uh, these steps with the, with the big skin and then you can get a really, really nice and flat lying surface and everything will line up. If you don't do that and you pull rivets which are not straight in, uh, you will get up end up with bandings in your in your skin and you don't want to have any bandings in your skins. So this is the, the, the way we will do it and we will uh, make all the rivets line up perfectly. So yeah, that's it for this episode. As you can see, the wing is already hanging on the roof of my build shop. Uh, this is the way I store my, my wing for the next weeks. Uh, we will have to wait for the inspection for the wing also. Um, we also did uh, install uh, all the stuff inside. So we have also installed the push rods for the ailerons and the flaps. Uh, I think it's much easier to install this at this stage of the build and not wait until uh, you have the, the skins finally on. So this was quite a long episode. Thank you for staying uh, with me till now. Hope to see you again on the channel My TSI.